Astronomers have used the Hubble Space Telescope's ultraviolet vision to see a white dwarf snacking on an object that looks a lot like Pluto. The reason this is so interesting is because our sun will one day become a white dwarf after it has gone through its red giant phase and left behind a planetary nebula that will slowly disperse. Will observers five billion years from now look back at the cooling remains of our sun from another star system and see it chowing down on a dwarf planet? Obviously, it's hard to say. Five billion years feels like a long way off to be making predictions, and we aren't even sure that there are other civilizations out there. But it's an interesting thought. White dwarfs are compact, stellar remnants with about half the mass of the sun packed into a sphere the size of Earth. In a new paper published September the 18th in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, Astronomers presented results from observations of white dwarf WD1647 plus 375, which is relatively close by at just 250 light years away from Earth. They detected an object, much like our own Pluto, being torn apart and accreting onto the white dwarf star. What was interesting about the object is that it appears to be 64% water ice, and the spectra also shows a large amount of nitrogen. The surface of Pluto is covered in nitrogen ice, and so there are clear parallels with our own solar system, and in particular, Kuiper Belt objects. The Kuiper Belt is an icy region of space out beyond the orbit of Neptune, containing dwarf planets like Pluto, and a bunch of other smaller icy rocks and comets. Given the new observations, it seems likely that WD 1647 plus 375 had its own equivalent to the Kuiper Belt when it was a main sequence star, and that is what we would expect. However, previously astronomers had assumed the Kuiper Belt would be heavily disrupted by the red giant phase of a sun-like star. As the star expands, it would thought it would uh, toss the Kuiper Belt objects out of the solar system. This new result suggests that at least some of those icy bodies from the red giant phase survived and are then pulled in towards the white dwarf and torn apart. The research team are hoping they can use JWST to make further observations of WD 1647 plus 375 to detect water vapor and carbonates at infrared wavelengths. The paper's open access and I will put a link to the paper down in the description. That's today's video. Don't forget to drop a like. I will catch you in the next one.